Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Good morning. Good morning. Let's go to whiteboard directly. All right. What shall we talk today? Do you have any uh, questions? Well, my school, we're at school, we're learning about lightning now and... Lightning. Oh, fr uh, Brent Benjamin Franklin, right? Did you? Uh, no, we just talked about uh, how lightning are lightning. formed and... Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And... Uh, so this cloud, right? This is cloud. Is a cloud, different cloud. You were... Yeah. You see, oh, this is... This is... This is uh, let me just show you again. So this is a this is a this is a ground. So this is a ground, right? Yeah. So you see the um, formation of lightning. Good, good. In this and context, also, the, the, the the first person you have to you you need to know is a uh, is American. Uh, is also a politician. He's a uh, Benjamin Frank Ben Benjamin Franklin, Franklin, right? Have you heard of him? Uh, no. Okay, doesn't matter. So we can we can talk about his uh, discovery. Because in ancient time, nobody knew why there is lightning, right? Yeah. So they have the, there's no uh, scientific explanation until, until this person actually, he did experiment. I'll tell you what, give you some background. What he did is he trying to prove that uh, the, the origin of the lightning, the formation of lightning is due to the electrical charge. So what he's doing is uh, in the various in the storming, they, they just have they have the uh, kite, right? Have the yeah. kite here, and so she's trying to prove that uh, uh, <laughs> they, they they just use the kite to get to detect what's going on uh, in the sky. So it's very dangerous, very dangerous. Yeah. Do you know why? Because uh, they got they can, they can be get shocked easily. Yeah. Oh, another thing I, I draw your attention is that nowadays, this is ancient time, that's before discovery. Nowadays, every tall building, like the skyscrapers in, in the city, right? Even yeah. some tall building in the suburb, they have to apply the, they have to the metal. This yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you knew that, right? The device? Yeah. yeah. They put the, the tall, the sharp, also the sharp uh, devices above the ground, above the building, and then, yeah. If you if you can see them, it's actually earth. You put into yeah. buried in the earth. Do you know why? Yeah, because earth uh, is neutral and it can take a, a, a unlimited unlimited number of electron or charge. Yeah. Yes. Okay. How much do you know? Can you just tell me uh, what what your uh, what uh, the teacher told you at the school? Uh, so basically. We talked about how clouds, uh, like the upper um, part of the cloud, is positive and uh -huh. the bottom is negative. Can you yeah, can you draw that? that? Can you draw that? Can you draw that picture? Oh, yeah, okay. that's good. That's good. That's good. The point to to mention is that uh, to explain the lightning in terms of the charge, electrical charge, right? Yeah. It's Franklin. Frank. Yeah, that is uh, that is the origin. Yeah. And how uh, lightning can go from from earth to cloud or cloud to earth. Yes, so, yeah. and you even you, you also they connect. You see, can you see? Sometimes you see this lightning like this one. Okay, uh, I draw the, the, the that red color, but uh, I just use different color. Can you see this kind of uh, lightning? It's called like a tree, like this one. Yeah. Yes. In the, when you see that one, actually the charge is, is jumping from one cloud to another. Okay. So this yeah. high possibility. If you put the metal here, this metal is conductor. Yeah, this yeah. is metal. This 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 is conductor. Conductor. So it's highly possible that they were. If that you want to, this is called the discharge. Do you know the discharge? They yeah, call the discharge. Uh, the cloud, discharge. Yeah. yeah, discharge. That is the concept here. 
charge and discharge in this case. So this is a high charge. So the per by providing this the uh, sharp metal at the top of building, then you can easily pick up this charge or uh, actually it's current, right? When the charge yeah. move, this become current. So this current can be quickly gone to go to, to meet uh, the ground. So they can neutralize, yeah. you can balance without to destroy the building. All right. Yeah. That's all? Is that all? Uh, yeah, any, and we any also question? Talk, any question? We also, uh, well, um, we also talked about uh, how many electrons are in one coulomb. Oh, good. Good question. Good question. Now, we just think that that's a very interesting question. We can discuss this issue. So how many electrons in one charge? Okay, so electric charge, let's just go to this. Uh, episode. Can we talk about the unit of electron? The unit. The unit. There are more than one. The unit for electric charge. So you mentioned the coulombs, right? Yeah. So one is a coulomb, one is a C, okay, it's a coulombs. Do you know why we use coulombs? Is his name or just a C? Uh, pardon? The coulomb. Why, why, we, why yeah. we use unit, why we choose a coulomb as a unit, one of the unit for electric charge? Because that's the person's name um, Can who we choose, found yeah. it. Yeah, so... Uh, it's actually, he's not the first, that is not the only first person. Many people have studied electrical charges, right? But yeah. he is the first person to propose to discover <laughs> that the force between the two charge. Did you discuss this? Uh, I think we mentioned this, this formula several times. If we know the distance between the two charge, okay? This charge could be two electron or proton. It, between yeah. the proton and electron, or it could be a two just charge in the in a, in a metal part, in the metal ball, right? Or in two clouds. Yeah. So Coulomb is the first person to work out the formula for this force. So the force is equal to K times Q1, Q2, the product Q1 and Q2. So we, we just use, sometimes we use a Q, sometimes we use a capital Q to represent yeah. the charge. And here R is the distance between the two charge. So this is called a Coulomb's law. It's called a Coulomb's yeah. law. That's very important. The reason we choose his name because he, the his contribution to the study of the uh, electricity is the greatest, right? Static electric field, uh, electric. So that's Coulomb's law. That's Coulomb's law. Okay. So that's why we talk about the charge. Now. Before we go further, another another unit is called the Faraday. Probably you, you will learn in the future when you did you choose chemistry. Did you study? Did you are you going to study chemistry? Uh, this uh this year I uh I'm not sure. Okay, doesn't matter. If you if you have a chance in the future to study chemistry, then you will mention you will use another unit for the electric charge. It's called the Faraday. Just F or Faraday, okay? Okay. So, do you know this name? It's, it's English, man. It's Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday. He's a famous uh, uh, physicist, but also he's a famous uh, chemist because he did uh, both experiments. He studied both physical and chemical phenomena. He just uh, okay. rewrite his, his name. Michael Faraday, very famous. So return to your question. So how many charge? Say how many how many electron or how many charge? How many electron? How many electrons? So how many electron? Good question. How many electron? Electron. Obviously, more than one. In one in one kunum, in one kunum, right? Not a G, but a C. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a good question. Do you know how to answer this question? Uh, 
uh, my teacher just gave me a uh, formula. So a formula, 6.24 yeah. times 10 to the power of 18. Oh, that is hard to remember. Do, do you know the charge of electron? How many charge of electron? Per electron. So this is electron, okay? One electron. Yeah. Do, do you know how many charge? Do you know how to can how do you know the numbers? Can you say can we say the charge is uh, normally we represent the charge of electron by letter E, E for electron, okay? For E for electron, so charge. So one E, so one E. Or if you prefer, we can use uh, we can use the Q. You want to use Q or E? Uh, e is e, fine. You you be fine. Okay. So one E were equal to this number. Actually, I can remember this number. One point six. We use a scientific notation. One point six times ten to the power of negative, to the power of negative nineteen coulombs. This is a this is a, a numbers treated as a fundament one of the fundamental constants in physics. All right. Yeah. The number you men you mentioned, I can't remember, but I do remember this uh, number. Okay. Okay. In other words, the charge in each electron is extremely small if we use the unit coulomb, right? Yeah. So this is just, uh, the, the question is just say, well, if you divide this number on both sides, you get one coulomb, do you agree? Yeah. So in, in, in other words, how many, in, so, this is one electron, so this is n equal to one, okay? To make this one coulomb equal to how many e, right? What can you do mathematically? Can we divide this number on both sides? Yeah. That's this one, this is a big, therefore, one coulombs were equal to one divided by this number, okay? 1.6 times to the uh, 10 to negative 19, okay? That would be your answer. That would be your answer. Do you agree? Can you simplify this notation? So obviously, one point six is uh, is uh, divide. Uh, if we just make the, if we just time, if we just time ten on both sides, on both uh, denominator and numerator, we got this uh, fraction one point six ten over one ten ten over one point six, right? Yeah. And if you use the negative notation, negative index, so basically we can rewrite as, if because we have time 10, so that has become the, uh, just write it directly, if you can follow me. So that will simply equal to 10 to the power of positive 18. And can you see, can you see that? Now, if you use calculator, so 10 divided by 1.6, let me see, 10, 10 divided by 1.6, that will give you 6.2. Is this the same as your number, 6.25 times 10 to the power 18? Yeah, uh, I got 6.24 for like, yeah. Oh, uh, depending how accurate. So, so this is a, uh, this is a, uh, this is this is this is number I use. If you want to go further, you can use more accurate number for this for this uh, decimals, right? For this uh, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now the the basically that is how you work out this formula. Okay. Work out this yeah. number by using this basic constant. In any te physics textbook, you can you can find this number. Okay. Okay but not this number. So this number is just a different way to, to, to describe the charge of electron. Yeah. Okay. So another way to, another unit, I, I, just, I would like to take this opportunity to tell you, another unit for, for the charge is called the Faraday. So one Faraday, one Faraday were equal to the charge of electron, can we call it E, times yeah. the number of Avogadro number. We talked about this number before, right? Yeah. 
So that is a that is a, this another unit. Now, could you transfer how can you trans can you convert this uh, unit one Faraday into coulombs? Do you know how to do that? Do you remember what is the uh, number of the uh, Avogadro number? Uh, it was um, six point zero two, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That is very important number because we use this number to estimate the size of the hydrogen atom. Do you remember? Yeah. Or the mass of hydrogen atom. So that is the number is given as a, a, again. It is a com it's one of the commonly used constants in physics. That's 23, 10 to the power 23. So this number, okay? Of course, we, can, we have to use this number. That's 1e. The charge of in one electron is equal to 1.6, which as you see, this, this constant again, to the power 10 to the negative, the power of negative 19 coulombs. Now, based on these two numbers, can you work out the charge of one Faraday? Yeah. In terms of the coulombs. Do you want to try? Can you write from your side? Yeah, okay. Um, so it was the E1.6 times Yeah, it's large number. Not very large compared with uh, the, the the number of electrons in one column. Good. Yeah, that's right. There. Yep, that's very good. So when you, when you, when you read, can you just keep the some distance? So oh, when, okay. when you read, you keep put the unit a, a, a little bit away from the number. Yeah, that's very important constant, right? Yeah. When you when you start the electrochemistry, this 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 unit will be used in a, in a study. So when you start the electro, uh, electro, electro chemistry, when you start electro chemistry, it's part of chemistry, right? Then you will use this unit. Good, good. In the, this unit is very useful there because if originally Faraday started not of the uh, phenomena in what we call electro chemistry. So nowadays, a part of of course in physics we still use the columns. We still use columns. So my suggestion is that pay attention to this one. Just uh, just uh, if you do want to know more constant in physics, you yeah. would I would just suggest you to remember to to just pay attention to these numbers. Okay. Okay. These are more fundamental than the number of how many electron in the. Uh, in one column, all right? Okay. Now, just extend this question. Can we? Uh, can you know that if, if we just solve the uh, real problem, so another problem, so if we, should we know, so this is a question. So just consider one question, so question one. So given a Q, so the charge, so the charge, uh, the Q equal to say uh, zero to, uh, 
0.01 coulombs. Okay. So this is charge particle. This is this 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 is particle or this is charge. See, they so got the charge here. Okay, the note of charge. So if you if you use a microscope, uh, if you if your microscope is powerful enough, you should be able to see electron. But of course, electron is too small to be seen individually, right? Now, the question. Yes. Of course, we know that the charge is made by electron. So there must be a number here. So the number time the charge of E. Right. Yeah. So my question is: the question is how many how many electron how many number in, of electron in this case? Um. In other words, I can reckon how many electron. How, same question. Same question. How many electron? How many okay. electron? In a charge, in a charge. Sorry. In a charge, in this charge, in this charge, in this charge. Okay. Yeah. This is two, one point six times. And the power of negative nine. So this is a charge of one electron, right? Yeah. Mm. So that is the given. This condition is given. Yeah. And times e. Yeah. And then you sub it in. Yeah. So that because you have make a logical story. This is because. Okay. Uh -huh. Can can you find the formula first? Can you find the formula before you go? Can you find the formula? So therefore, before you do that, before you do that one, can we work out the formula first? That we could do Q divided by E. Divided by E. Yeah. Okay. And then we just in this time, you got the result afterwards. Okay. You don't have balance in uh, you, you don't have to re re rewrite the equation again. So oh, okay. when you solve the problem, when you solve the problem in physics or chemistry, you find the formula for the unknown first. Okay. Okay. Can you continue here? Yeah. Okay. Um. So and then, which equals to zero point zero one yeah. divided by. Okay. Yeah. Yep. A huge yeah, number. Uh, yeah. Yep. It's a huge number, right? So that is how you 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 know dealing with something too small, right? We still have yeah. you know chance. So in this case, uh, we're still using the basic. So I will draw your attention. This this is a very important discovery in physics and chemistry too. So that that the charge is not continuous, okay? Unlike the uh, I draw the I draw the frame here. Everything important I will draw. So this formula is very important, okay? This is equivalent to the atomic theory. So when when we have the uh, atom atomic theory, so this is this this is equivalent to, so this is equivalent to the discovery of the mass. Were equal to the number times the mass of atom, okay? Or you could use a different note. This is the number of atoms. So this is a, I guess I don't want to use too many notation. It's a number of, so time the mass of atom or molecule, right? So these two equations are equally important. Can you see that? Yeah. So in other words, that uh, nowadays we know that both the charge 
both the charge and the the mass are are made by small uh, unit by smallest unit right by smallest unit so um, for example go on uh, for the q equals to n times e what is n equal to what's n uh, n is a number so n oh, okay. is a number of the electron so okay. n is number of electron can i just put this two three questions together i will i will introduce more uh because you you well, we're discussing something very interesting in physics so basically yeah starting from the q q the electric charge it can be written as a number of electrons so n times e right n times e so this is a so this n is number of electrons so this n is a number the number the number i just use this notation for number the number of electron okay now similarly for the mass say, say mass of hydrogen so right for the mass in the gas for example then that will equal to the number of the atom so in this case number of electron number of atoms so now I, I i don't want to encounter that number we just we just did specify this number of the atom mass okay can we call this uh, mass of atom okay so in this case a is the number of atom okay okay another important uh equation is that energy so energy energy of light energy of radiation energy will equal to the number times the energy of photon so this is a h v h this is something abstract for you but it doesn't matter so light can be you know the night night usually we can describe the night by the wave did we talk about the wave before we started uh, the yeah. sound wave but uh, we can also use waves of course this wave is not uh, it, it, it is not is not the mechanical wave but electromagnetic wave so we we'll talk about that electro magnetic magnetic wave that's for the night but uh, sometimes we have to use a particle called a photon to describe photons to describe the the night all right light yeah so the energy of the each photon so each photon so in this case I have to explain so the, this is a number n represents a number of photon this is a particle which each which, which uh, make up the the electromagnetic wave right photon number of photons and this h, this h f is the energy the energy of each photon so the energy the energy can you follow me yeah is an engine of the photon okay of the photon first down here of each photon so this idea will eventually give you see the i have you started quantum mechanics quantum quantum mechanics have you heard of quantum mechanics before yeah yeah the quantum means that uh, uh, the quant any quantity can be many the quantity many physical quantity can be written as in this form okay they just this basic that is a found is the smallest unit that is the smallest small this unit can you see that yeah because i want to take this opportunity to draw your attention that in physics as well as in chemistry because both physics and chemistry are dealing with atoms right? are dealing with atoms 
So you will find that something very interesting phenomena is that uh, the charge can be, you know, uh, considered as a multiple of the electron charge, right? Yeah. And uh, this is also very equally important, very more important, because that's how the atom, the concept of atom were introduced by ancient Greek. Do you know his name? Democritus, right? Oh, okay. He said everything is made by atom, which, yeah, yeah. which, which imply for any material, for example, it could be a cup of water, or it could be the gas in the cylinder, or the gas in the cylinder, or just a rocket, okay? Every yeah. form of the matter, substance, if you enlarge that, you will see that it's made by the small particles. It's called atom, right? Yeah. Do you remember we have estimate how many hydrogen atoms in the cubic centimeter? Do you agree? Yeah. That's a huge number. Do you remember that number? Um, no, I, I'm going back to have a look. Um, it's really interesting because at this stage, the important thing is to understand, to know some basic idea, okay? Do you remember that uh, we will draw, uh, remember we did this exercise, so we just put all, we just consider the cubic volume, right? One centimeter yeah. cubic volume. And we just say, well, if, if we just, uh, we can, of course, if you, if you if you enlarge this part, if you enlarge parts, you will put all hydrogen, like this one, hydrogen atom in this case, right? So you put yeah. a hydrogen atom here, hydrogen atom in this way. Of, of course, there are many of them, of course. Uh, we know the number is huge, okay? So this just enlarge the part. So this this side, we just, uh, this is one, so A, so this is, this is one centimeter. Is one centimeter, right? And also one yeah. centimeter, and also this is a one centimeter here. This is also one centimeter. Now, this this diameter of each hydrogen atom, so the D, the diameter D for diameter, diameter, which is uh, if it is not one, so the size. This is a, this is a hydrogen atom. So it's a hydrogen atom. Hydrogen, hydrogen atom. So the diameter, do you, remain, do you remember the, the value for diameter of hydrogen atom, roughly? Uh, 10 to the power of negative 10. That's right, that's right, meters, in the meters. meters okay, yeah. okay. So that is the way, if you, if you I, I don't want to repeat that uh, problem. This, this is a way to estimate the number of the hydrogen atom, right? Eventually, the number we obtain to get it just quickly, ever close to this number. Do you remember? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Then see, you see, we're back to this number again. Do you remember? Yeah. 23, that's Afgadro number. That's both Afgadro, Af, Afgadro. Of gradual number or constant of gradual constant. I would call it a number because number is more more direct. I just call numbers. Okay. So so basically that also so that number also the the any any material if they have this amount of particle is called one more. Do you know one? Do you know the more? Have you heard of this this unit? No. No. More come from the word molecule. You know the molecule. Yeah. Molecule. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they molecule. come from molecules. So it's, it's, it's actually so more is uh, related to molecule in terms of that they are we are de it is used to describe to represent the large number of particles or in this case, large number of molecule in many cases, right? Yeah. But of course, in this case, molecule, you say molecule is made by atom. So molecule is made by atom, right? So yeah. sometimes in this particular case, why we also got this number? Because we are dealing with the molecule with one atom, okay? So molecule with one atom is atom. So if the molecule is more than one atom, then they are called the molecule. 
right? So yeah. you use atoms from atom to you can build a molecule. You can you you can build at you can build more different molecules, right? Yeah. Molecules. If you put different types of the molecule together, a mix, the, the material is a mix of different molecule. What we call what, what is the name to call that? Uh, compound. Okay. Okay. For the compound. So that are the chemical stuff, the, the molecule. And in chemistry, these two called elements. So sometimes you have to be careful, it's called element. Oh, yeah. Element. So in this regard, the charge of electron can be considered as element. Do you agree? If you go back. So the charge of electron can be considered as one of element. Yeah. which is the smallest, which gives the smallest unit for the charge, electrical charge, right? Yeah. So return to this, uh, this, this concept, it's called one more. So in this, as this of Gabriel's contribution, he said that any material will consider, so, so any material, any compounds, so any material, any, material, any substance, or any uh, chemical, uh, any, just say, any chemicals, any chemical substance. One more of any, so this just, this is his law here. So one more of any chemical, any chemical substance, substance. Contain exactly, exactly this number of particle or molecule. In this case, called the molecule. Can you follow me? Yeah. So that is his law, very important law, I've got to know, it's, uh, it's how the one more is introduced, the concept one more, okay. The, the, the reason we use this, this is not unit, right? So, because this number is huge, right? For example, yeah. you can, you can, you can, you can, you, I hope by now you have some understanding of the size of atom or molecule, right? Because molecule is made by atom. So yeah. for smaller, for the small molecule, the size of molecule is very close to the size of atom, right? Or 10 times yeah. or 100 times. So still it is very small. So that's why that this unit, this very important unit, provide us to provide the experimental, pro provide people to study molecule, you know? by using a large number in which we can start many particles at the same time. Okay. For example, okay. this, is another, this is another important uh, relation we I hope you have understand. So apart from this, uh, 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 how about one gram? Okay, I use different color. Do you remember this formula? How to convert one gram into uh, atomic mass unit. So U is uh, atomic, atomic mass unit. Mm. Or it's actually, it's a, so in, in, in old days, that mass, this were equal to the mass, equal, equal to the mass of hydrogen atom. Okay. Very close to hydrogen atom. Do you remember this uh, factor here? Uh, is it one Afghadro number? That's right. Yes, that's right. That's right. Can you see? We see this number again. Yes, that's a huge number. Okay, I, I, I think that, that that's very important because see, we can estimate one gram. Say, for example, if you want to say, 
uh, uh, nowadays, for example, I, I have uh, vitamin C. During this uh, uh, pandemic season, I have uh, vitamin C. So I work, I work as the, you know, estimate probably just very, very close to the Q, right? It's, it's powder form, but very close to this volume, okay? So that is vitamin C. I got the vitamin C powder here. The old, I bought the, bought the vitamin C powder here, right? Yeah. We know that there are many particles, many molecules inside, okay? Yeah. Now, this is, this is one gram. So each day I take one gram. Can you estimate how many uh, vitamin C molecule we, I, I took every day? Estimate roughly. So this is just one, this is close to one centimeter too. A cubic. Mm. Well, I just give you a clue. Probably the, the mass for the vitamin, vitamin E, I don't know exactly, but we can check. So the mass of the vitamin C, vitamin C, sorry. Mass for the vitamin C could be not, see, it could be, because it, uh, this could be, uh, how to say, can we say 500? Can we say 500 uh, atomic unit? Yeah. Now, okay, then, based, yeah. based on this number, can you estimate how many molecule of vitamin C I have every day, roughly speaking? Uh, do I use this formula, this one? Yep, you can use first one, yeah. Okay. So we just, we, we need a gram, so we, 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 take, we take gram. So that's in terms of the mass, the total mass, the mass of what we have is, uh, we have the, uh, about one gram, so it's e equal to one gram. Yep. So basically so, you have to con convert that, this, uh, this uh, mass into the number of the molecule. How do we yeah, do that? Okay. Um, Um, six. Yeah, you can use the notation. You can use the notation first, right? Or you can write number yeah. now. Okay, you can write number now. And then bracket. Time one U, time one U, and then you yeah, um have to work that out. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Um. Now this formula is for one gram, okay? This is for the hydrogen. This is, this is just one unit, one, one atomic unit, right? Yeah. Um, wait. One G equals to times so is this part right? Uh, or is it wrong? I don't think so. It's wrong. It's wrong. So basically, okay. what what you have to work out is a modern number. I gave you the hint. This is pretty really challenging for you. Can you can you just say you have to to work out the uh, the modern number, the more number, the more number. First, okay. So molar number is it uses a small n. This is small n, right? Small n. So this number can be written as a ratio of the, the mass we have. The mass we have is a one gram. This is the mass. And you have divided by this number. You have divided by this 500. So that's the mass of vitamin C. Each molecule. Each molecule. This is a mass of powder. This is powder, right? It's a powder. 
and which equal to one gram, so which equal to one gram. And these will be, this is for the molecule. This is the mass of the molecule, okay, it's a molecule. Can you see the formula here? So what we have, I took is one gram. We've got one gram, okay? We need to work out how many more first. So this is 500, okay? Yeah. Okay. So that, that, that is 500, so that's 500. Okay. So by doing so, we were, what, we're, what we have is just uh, the number of the one over 500. Yeah. That is a number, more than number. Once you know the more than number, then you can use for the number of the, mm -hmm. the number the number of uh, molecule, in this case, vitamin C, molecule were equal to, so that is another formula. So the N can also written as the number of molecule divided by half gadrol number, right? Yeah. So this modern number, this, this, this number is denoted by N, so n were equal to the modern number times half gadrol number, okay? So if you substitute this question, if you substitute the number, that's one, n equal to, so n is uh, how many, how many more? How many more? Okay? Okay. So that is one divided by 500, and then times this large number, 6.02 times 10 to power 23. Perhaps this question uh, is, is a little bit challenging for you, right? Yeah. So basically, I just recall some of the basic idea that is, uh, uh, if you go back, if you go back, that's, uh, it's uh, probably this will be just an uh, 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 introduction to the mole. So according to alpha gadrol, one mole of chemical, of any chemical substance contain exactly this number of molecule, right? That's one mole. So how to, how to obtain the mole numbers? How to determine the mole? Then you have to use this, uh, you have to work out first, how many more first? That is, uh, in this case, we first have to work out more numbers. Okay. Uh, I don't really, uh, can you go back to the last slide? Yes, we can go back to last slide here. I don't really get this. The Afghadro no? Afghadro yeah. no? Yeah. So the mole is a, is a, is a, is a special unit or the quantity, okay? See, in other words, because you have, the, it's just go to, uh, if I go to, I draw another diagram for you. If I draw another diagram. So basically, if we study the molecules, any molecules in large quantities, so what can we do? So that is a, when we start a molecule in large quantities, right? I just consider the, say, gas, for example. I just, it's easy to draw the gas. So for example, yeah. we just, uh, so there are number of the molecules, right? In this uh, container, yeah. in this kind, not of them. Because the, the number is a huge, the number is huge. So therefore, we invent, so Afghadro invented the, the method, they say, well, why don't we start this, uh, we study this much of number together? I just use, uh, uh, this, uh, I just redraw that, I use different color. He said, why don't we just study this amount of the molecule together? All right? Okay. So as a whole, the, this is called one more. This work is not large number, of course it's not number. So this one, so this is in each of these boxes, they have one, this is called one more, okay? This one more contains, for any substance, for many molecule contain, 
exactly I forgot to number molecule or atoms, okay? Does that make sense? Uh, so this molecule, can you say this molecule, this is, this is one molecule, this is one molecule, this is one molecule, this is the many molecules, okay? Yeah, so... We just assume that, it's uniformly the same, uniformly distributed. So if you count, if if you count these numbers, so there are, so there in this case, there are n molecules. It's huge, do you agree? Yeah. Molecules. But if we just count by this large unit, okay, this is large unit. Yeah. Then we will see that how many more, so this is one more, one more contains this number. If you have the n molecule, for example, say say n say n equal to n equal to say the uh, six point. Uh, I just match that number. Say six point two times ten to power of the say uh, forty six. Huge number. Do you agree? Yeah. Not the large number. If you just if you just say n equal to this number, then my question is. How many more? How many more? How many more? We know what is more now. One more contains this number, okay? okay. And how many more is there? How many, is it? how many more is it? How many more is it? Okay. So is is one more equal does one more equal to uh a scattered number yep that's right one more contains this mark this many compared to number of the molecules this is exact number so this is exact number so n of scattered number is a large number one six point zero two times to the power of 23, okay? So could you say that equals to one more? Yes, yes, yeah, that corresponds, okay. this corresponds. So you can just use this unit to, to count how many more. Obviously the more number is very small, do you agree? Because okay. more number is just, uh, I just make this question simpler. Can we just you go to a smaller case? Can we just, just use exact number? Or I'll just use, uh, I just use uh, I just make up this uh, number so eight about I just divide by two that's twelve twelve point zero four times ten to power twenty three okay I make up this number in order to get to see the simple answer okay so the number of the more then how many more the number can we call the number so the so the number of more is uh, denoted is denoted by letter n okay so can we build an equation so basically this number the total number must be equal to n time the f gadro number do you agree yes so this is a total number. So this is a total number in the molecule, right? And this yeah. is a this is a unit. This is a unit, which is a large number, right? So therefore, we can say the number of mole can be written as n divided by f gadro number. Do you agree? Uh, wait. So, so. Uh, put, uh, put, put, into, uh, put into another example, put into, uh, probably I will draw another example. If you have the container, okay, if you buy, say, say you have, say, this is, uh, you bought the large, uh, the bottle of orange juice, right? Each yeah. time you just use a couple to drink, all right? Right? Yeah. So my question is, how many couple can be filled by this uh, large, con this, this, this orange in this container? Ah, oh, okay. Can you see? This makes sense. Yeah. Now? Okay. It makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So you can you can think this is one more. You can okay. you can you can call this one more. Okay. That's good. 
So this can see this, you can call this one more, okay? Just uh, name, okay? Now, can you calculate for this hypothetical uh, situation? Yeah. So okay. the N, um, you, can, you can substitute N here. Cancel these two out. That's right. You can. You can. I just then, make, I, I make up this uh, uh, made up this uh, number to, in order to get a simple oh, result. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> simple result. Yeah. Okay. Um, it equals to so that uh, just equal to two. Yeah. Can you see? Is is two? Is, is the number getting very small now? Can you see that? Yeah. So this is a general idea in physics and also in chemistry. So if you have if you have large number, so if the number is large, okay. So it's basically yeah. if the large is not just draws is a summary here, such as. If that is a large number, you use a large unit, okay. So if you have the, uh, let me see. Uh, just got summary here. So you have the large unit. So for example, this is a large, large number, right? And then we're, if we use the large unit, so this is a large unit. This is a large unit, okay? This is a large, large element or large unit, okay? Okay? So then the N will be small. N is a small, can you see? I give you some idea. Because sometimes we can hard, for example, if you ask people how many uh, molecule of orange you have or white or whatever, it's, it's the, two, the number is huge, do you agree? The molecule yeah. is huge. But if you just each time use a couple, if you use a couple, then, then that we, we still can use this. Uh, so that is exactly what F. Gadru did. He introduced this uh, constant to represent a, the number of molecule in that uh, unit, okay? Yeah. Another, another thing we have used today is that if we, we, we just rep return to the, the charge, we use this number, can you see this number? So in this case, if we use, if the unit is small, so can you see this is the charge, okay, this is the electric charge. So this is very small, so this is a small unit, right? Yeah. Unit. Now, in this case, how about N? N is big or small? It's big then. That is very big. Can you see that? In yeah. science, in, when you study uh, chemistry or physics, sometimes you have pay attention to the unit they use, right? If you use the large, if, 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 if you said everything is made of the, you know, unit, right? Now the number of unit will depend on whether it's a large or small. Okay. Make sense now? <laughs> this, yeah. just, this is just a trick we use in physics. Because sometimes we don't care individual how many, because it's impossible to, to count, right? So we just yeah. say the how many more, you see? For example, we, we, we say how many cup, how many cup we have, right? Cup. Yeah. Okay. I hope this will help you to understand more about uh, you know related. That would, can you save from your side? Can you save that from your side? Yeah. So just go back. I just give you. See, that's why today we have discussed basically uh, when we have you know you know teacher ask you how many electron right in one coulomb right because in that in that case the unit we used is extremely small. So therefore, the number we get is large. Can you see that? Yeah. You see that? But uh, relatively speaking, the unit for, the unit for uh, the Faraday is, is larger than the electron charge. Do you agree? 
they have multiplied. Did you? I just uh, paid draw your attention. The unit uh, Faraday for charge is much bigger than the electrical charge. Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. So you have to you have used this small number. You have used a small number multiplied by this uh, Avogadro number, right? Avogadro number. Yeah. Here. So therefore, when Faraday is very close to Coulomb, do you agree? Yeah. So similarly, how so so you can ask a question. How many coulomb? How many Faraday in one coulomb? Right? You can ask yeah. the same question. So that is how we use a different unit. We we sometimes we just want to the, the the idea to introduce the one Faraday is similar to introduce one more. I hope you yeah. if if you want to think in this now, you can you can think. The reason Faraday uses large number instead of the electrical charge because he got the same idea to the Afghatros number Af Af Afghatros more does that make sense yeah so think about it more Faraday and this uh, in relation to the small and the big numbers okay okay perhaps you can write essay okay you can write a summary here Okay. I hope this will help you to understand more about uh, atoms and uh, charge. Yeah, okay. Okay. Goodbye, next time. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. See you next time. See you next time. Bye.